It's blotted out and unreadable. This is where we part. This is my world. This door leads to my present self's world. It's very tiny and still restricted. It's open. Why did it come to this? You're smart, so perhaps you know. If you know the answer, tell me, Alan. I don't know. Write your books. There's a diary. Read. I bought a house. Well, but it was formerly a facility. It's much too big for me. I can see myself getting lost easily. I'm indebted to Cliff once again. I should really thank him later. Today I met a girl. A few days ago, she was found near a house that burned down and seems to be the daughter. She insists there's someone other than her. She seems to have another personality. So I gave her double the furniture and stuff and such. I wasn't sure what to do, but at any rate, I found a research subject this way. She's now in my care. No symptoms at the moment. I met a second girl. I received a letter three days ago that had all the particulars. Perhaps because of what she's been through, she's much less cheery. She's reluctant to talk to me. She enjoyed talking with the other girl, albeit not for very long. It may be slow, but I'll try to get her talking with me. No symptoms at the moment. The third. I met a boy. I was surprised, but given his mother, I decided to take him in. He talks plenty, but he's... illogical. He was a little awkward with the two girls, but they're playing together a few days later. Today he kept putting frogs on my head. He's a bit too mischievous. No symptoms at the moment. I met the fourth, a girl. She walked from a town in the woods. I talked with her and she told me about a new mysterious illness. Evidently it wiped out her town. Did she have a resistance to it? I'm a little interested, but it's unrelated. She doesn't want to talk about it much. It's hard to talk with her. She doesn't talk with the others, just playing piano in a room. No symptoms at the moment. Symptoms of what? All the children have the potential to break out, but still no symptoms. But are there even symptoms? How did it go back then? I'm getting a headache. I'll stop for now. A few pages are ripped out. I met a fifth child. He was outside when the incident happened. They say the shock caused memory loss. That would be me. At a glance I was surprised. It's just a hunch, but he must be on the, on the verge. I'll watch him very carefully. Two seasons have passed since then. What have I been doing? I feel like my chest is burning. I see the scene in my mind again. This must mean... Yes. Very soon. It must be over soon. My head hurts. I'm sorry, Fiona. There's a scrap of paper in the back. When I came to, it was my usual world. She's still sleeping today. I asked lots of people, but I was never asked. Why is that? Ah, should I have been asked more? But there's no bad people left. There's only good people around me. The cat says only bad people can ask. Which is right, I don't know. I don't know a thing. 
I just keep trying to X people so I can be X'd. Um, okay. So that was how he met all of the kids that I've been interacting with throughout this story. Oh, read. Victims of nightmare syndrome continue to increase. I'm glad they found some good food, but... They're up to something in our world to drag people into the world. Parents suddenly being violent to children, abandoning them, forsaking them. It must be the rabbit's power. The cat must be up to something too. What did it tell me back then? I only took one thing from you. Was it really only one? Can a person be so easily ruined by having one thing taken? Is the cat lying? I don't have a clue. There's no time, no time, no time. The door. Um, there's a strange hole. Can I go through? I can go through this. I'm gonna... Save? Here? And go down a rabbit hole. your sins judgment guilty sentence to bed sweet dreams for life yo 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 what told you didn't I that I'd show you the goods in the hood it was kind of a mess I scrunched up some stuff left eye from left eyes from a boy hurt by sheep hair a girl who lost the light Ears, an abandoned black cat. Pretty sweet, don't you think? Heap on that praise. Now, I'm a guy who keeps his promises. You got the key, yeah? From the white rabbit? But you stabbing somebody or getting stabbed is boring. For me, anyway. You're not sure how to answer any of my questions. You taste lousy, I bet. Ah, that's right. Didn't I tell you that, too? We eat souls. If we don't, we go poof. We could eat dogs or frogs, sure, but people taste best. Especially when their souls are broken by despair and agony. Kids don't know much stuff. If you know what to take, it's easy to break them. But man, I didn't think you'd be so hollow when I took it from you. Kids like you are rare in this day and age, you know? Adults are no good, though. They're too hard because of all the dirty knowledge. So we mainly dine by luring kids into this world. Ah, but this time he's special. That guy never changed. Not since he was a little brat. Couldn't be, happier day than, be a happier day than this, no sir. That's so funny. You eat pigs and cows and their souls. What's the difference if we eat frog and human souls? There really ain't no difference between us and you. Why do we keep using the same language as you? That never struck you? Question. What do you think happens when people die? When people die and vanish from the world, they give us power. Because souls don't die. There's all kinds of them. And I take things from them. Rabbit can rewrite the signs on the paths people take. In a good way or bad way. You guys like to call that the work of demons or angels, depending. The only one difference is our god. He's pretty wrathful. 
He made it so all creatures need X to live. But people forgot X because they made their own rules. Well, what do you think of that? The world was already over once people came into being. Just taking the road to the end from then on. Well, there you go. That's what I've done. Now, I told you a bit ago, the other way to link the world with the world. A pact with a demon. In layman's terms, your soul and mind get mixed. If I can take a soul rather than eat it, I can live much, much longer. Strong intentions are risky. Just make it hard for me to act the way I like. But you're empty. You don't get a chance this good every day. If you give me everything, I'll take all the guys in this world back to your world as thanks. It'll be over before you know it. It doesn't hurt. Vanish here, or merge with me to help the others. What'll it be? Sure. I saved before going down here, so... Pact made? I can hate you, smart brats. By the way, I think you'll keep enough consciousness to see, so there's that. What I took from you? Alright, I'll tell you before you go. X. I took X from you. And from the others. Satisfied? Alrighty, I'll remember you. Sure will. So long, Alan. Okay. So that was an ending. I merged with the Cheshire Cat. That can't be good. Also, all these people have made uh, amazing work with this. I'm gonna go back and uh, see what happens if I go up and talk to teacher without going down that hole. And then there are all the endings where I use the key to stab one of the kids as well. Man, it's always hard to get used to new stuff. As for this key... Meh, don't want to meet Rabbit right now. I'll toss it out around here. Now to pick up the pieces. Who'll I eat first? Cheshire. Ah, I bet if I eat him right in front of him, he'll fall to despair easy. 
Can't eat adults, though. I'll play with him and get some new parts from him. Meh. <laughs> oh, God. I actually really love that Im picture. Okay, so let's go in and talk to you instead. Alan, if you're here, then... No, the cat can't be trusted. You really are proficient at breaking promises. It's quite troubling. That key. It looks sharp. Give that to teacher, would you? Right away. Now. No. Very well. This might hurt a little. I'm sorry. Huh? Ha! <laughs> Doesn't even hurt. Now it can end this awful dream. Yes, it's the end. Will you hear my story? This isn't my first time in the world. I've been here before. Nightmare Syndrome. As an avid reader, I'm sure you've heard of it at least once. It's a disease that keeps one from waking and takes their soul. The cause is said to be unknown, but I believe it emerges in children whose hearts are in darkness. Have you noticed? I took in hurt children with nowhere to go, helped them, and let them live with me. But secretly, I observed and studied them as children who might acquire the sickness. I must have upset you. I'm sorry. I want to destroy this world and these dreams, whatever it takes. I lost someone important to me right before my eyes in this world. Ever since then, I've thought of nothing else. It was my selfishness. So when you arrived, I was very surprised. Maybe because you reminded me of myself from back then. If I made you unhappy, I thought, you'd acquire it. But I couldn't do that. Soon, my door opened. I should have come alone. The rest of you were taken in as well, and the entrance grew bigger as a result. I tried various things, but nothing worked. Alan, though you opened the door, you did nothing wrong. It's all my fault. There, there. There, there. There, there. It's okay. This is my dream. My world. I hid too much of my weakness. Before I knew it, I was drowning in more than I could manage. So I have to end it. For her as well. I'm not very smart. She often told me so. I researched long, but I guess it was off or not. Take this. Got a locket. I couldn't give you what you wanted most. Because I was never given it. I don't even know what it's like. I'm sorry. If you have nothing, then you should make something. You have wonderful friends all around you. Just take it slow. You're smart, Alan. So you'll be fine. Right. I'm an adult, allegedly. So they won't eat me. I'll figure something out. There's a number for a man named Cliff on my desk. Say my name and he'll come help you. He is my one and only friend. He is very kind. You'll be fine. Please forget about me. Then no one will have to come here again. Good night, Alan. Hey, hey, hey! Tin notebook scrap. 
Why wasn't I axed? I thought I could ax then, but I simply wasn't able to do it. Because I didn't know how to ax. Oh. What will I do now? I've lost everything. I have nothing. Oh, I'm so sleepy. X me. Someone please. X me. So I, I did say that I thought it might be kill. I don't think that anymore. I think it might be love. nothing. None of them is speaking to me. They're all here. Am I actually in the real world now? Teacher. No response. Teacher. Good night, teacher. I just, I, I didn't mean to actually press anything first. It just went on its own, but. This ending credit is all scribbled out. Good night. So, that was that. And I'm gonna, just gonna do one of these. I don't know which one yet. Um, just to see. What happens? I think I'm actually gonna go with Stella. I'm sorry, girl. But I wanna see this ending.
You don't say anything. You say nothing. Nothing. And Stella is in bed. Black notebook. Read. What? Oh, I needed to type in her name. There's a small church drawn in the corner. A lot of drawings of apples. One page is colored completely black. Teacher's eyes, the same, pitch black. Strange. The same eyes as that town, yet it breathes. Why? Okay, that's the final one I'm gonna do. I might go through the others off camera just to see what they say, but I'm not gonna go through all of them right now. I think there is one ending that I can't get because I've made mistakes and uh, missed things. So I might come back and do that, but I might not do it on camera. We'll have to see. I like that the end credits are like stories focused on the different characters. So this one is focused on Stella and her life. They died again. Everyone died. Why don't I die? Why am I still breathing? I'm scared to sleep. Someone might die again. It might be me next. Poison apple. Okay. So I'm gonna leave off Alice Mare here. I really enjoyed it and I'll probably come back to it in my free time. But... So... Because I really like trying to piece together everything that's going on. Anyway, thanks for coming along on this strange ride and I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys soon bye